Could you tell us a bit about the story behind the creation of the mighty TJ Knowles list for the Actobox machines for the OSCP? What was like the idea behind it? So I originally wasn't the starter of that list. Okay. Um, as a student in college, there was a friend of mine that I actually got to really know that started a group called Netsec Focus. It was an infosec community online where we could chat like in real time. We would talk to people. It originally started out as a a CISSP study group, and then it just expanded. Yeah. Um, so as over time, I started to learn from people in the infosec community, IT and cyber in that community itself. And it was really great to get to know those people and uh, learn from them. Mm -hmm. There was a time where I met a person online by the name of Abachi. And Abachi was actually going for his OSCP, and OSCP was one of my goals. So I kind of watched what he did, you know, and read his write-ups of what he did as well, too. And then what we would do is there was a guy named Cola mm -hmm. who started building out this list of all the boxes that Abachi would do. Okay. So Abachi and Cola started like actually going through boxes on Phone Hub just for fun. Mm -hmm. I would get into it as well and start going through the list. And then Abachi made a list of systems that he used on Phone Hub to prepare for the OSCP. Okay. And I was like, huh, this is pretty cool. And I used that list to just kind of help me like understand some of the techniques in the past. I never... It was never me trying to compare, oh, this box looks really similar for what it was in the PWK labs. Okay. okay, that makes sense. It was it was more for me to start improving my methodology and my skills that way. Um, and so I asked Abachi, I said, hey, I know you made this guide. I know you made this list. Would you be okay with me taking it over mm -hmm. and you know adding some stuff where I expanded up from other platforms? And he's like, yeah, go for it. So that's how the TJ Null list became a thing afterwards is that – and also I really didn't think the list would actually – like blow up yeah it blew I up thought the, <laughs> <laughs> i thought i thought the list was just a way for like me to give back to help align people that you know if you want to try a box you want to try a box on Vaughn hub on proving grounds or another platform right yeah. you have the opportunity to do that and that's why from this day on i continue to maintain that list as yeah. a way for people to build their practical skills and to help prepare them for what the course is going to be like when they actually take it yeah now I will give a fair disclaimer, which I have to do, mm. um, is that the boxes that are in the list are supposed to help you, you know, to prepare to get started with the course. This is not like a substitute for the exam. It's not a substitute for the PWK labs. And I highly recommend everybody when they do have access to the course, take the opportunity to go through the course material, the exercises, the lab environment that's there. You have 75 boxes to break into yeah. and you don't even have to maintain them on your local system. Give it a shot. Try them out. There's some fun boxes in there for sure to have fun with. Yeah. And what were the things that made you think like, oh, this is something that is going to be useful, useful for the OSCP? Is it just like the components or the services on a specific machine? Or do you think more like of it as a, like a specific OSCP mindset thing or a, a specific way of thinking that is going to help you uh, surpassing your OSCP exam? I so are we talking about the list like when, yeah yeah yeah. the machines on together? the list what made what uh what's like the thing that made you decide okay this is something that could be on the list to prepare um students for the oscp and this machine doesn't really apply for example so so judging the way the boxes are from the list to the pwk lab to the exam like the boxes on the list are definitely not exact or even close to the boxes that are made on the exam mm -hmm. the the purpose of the list like i said is to help prepare people who want to get into pen testing or want to get a shot at pen test or want to give you know, hey, pause for a second <laughs> it's it's fine it's fine <laughs> <laughs> want to you know for people that want to prepare really you yeah. know to take the ocp or just to get into pen testing that's mm -hmm. really what that list was created for yeah um and you know i i used that list a lot to boxes i thought really helped me build my skills moving forward yeah and i thought you know if this is a box that's really fun really cool to learn you know it was really interesting to read the write-ups from other people's you know attack techniques that they use uh specific paths that they took mm -hmm. um those things really jumped out to me where i felt you know as a community other people can learn from those same exact attack paths those techniques as well yeah and i feel like would help with their skills moving forward yeah, that's really all. It, that's really all I thought about that list. Okay. I thought about that list as a way of giving back, mm -hmm. helping people prepare to take the OSCP, you know, to start taking the OSCP course. Yeah. Um, but also further their skills in pen testing as well too, moving forward. 
Yeah, so it's a bit more general, you would say. It's not like yeah, if you do this, it's going the, the exam is going to be a piece of cake because everything uh, that you're going to find here, um, technically speaking, is the same. There's no there's no relationship in that regard. Like it's just no. There. Yeah, yeah. It, go, go. It's, 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 it's just a list. <laughs> yeah, because people it's, it's find it to be like this, like holy grail. Like if you do this, you're going to be this. And I'm like, okay. It's a great list, but it's there just to help you like apply everything you're learning um, through your course or through your journey as a penetration tester. But you still have to go through uh, the Pen 200 uh, course resources because those are the ones that were made to prepare you for the exam. And I actually mm -hmm. uh, talked about that in the video because I still recommend the list, but I still think that the labs and the course exercises are... Um, if you are like limited in, in terms of um, timings, I would say that the labs and the course exercises, in my opinion, and I haven't done the exam yet, uh, would be uh, my priority per se. So one thing that I will say is that when I, when I was going through the list of all the different boxes that were out there that helped me kind of prepare to take the OCP, mm -hmm. it made it easier for me to actually understand a lot of the topics that the course would teach yeah exactly and you know and some of the tools that were there too mm -hmm. so i wouldn't say it gave me like a jump start you know to like skip things it, it gave me a better understanding of how offsec was teaching me it was an and advantage and also the right? stuff that was going there i wouldn't say it was more of an advantage i'd say it was more of I'd say more it was some extra guidance, okay. I'd say. It, it, it gave me more insight of things that I was looking at and also giving me um, a, the start I needed to look into things more, okay. right, into the certain topics, the certain exercises that were there, and then also to challenge myself, you know, for looking and understanding the different services that were on the boxes in the PWK lab. Yeah. Those really – that's really what helped me, you know, overall together. It helped me build my practical skills. Yeah.